Hello guys, welcome back to my dev vlog. In this video, I'll be talking about the minimal viable product, plans to rename the game to just Sierra Sandstorm, vehicle turrets, separated weapons to new view layer, 3D modeling, and new song, and vehicles being a little futuristic along with some other news. So, the day I want the MVP to be released is February 28th. This should give me about a month to complete the minimal viable product. I want to set this deadline so instead of me just making development indefinitely, I want to have some form of product out just so I have it. It will consist of two vehicles, the JTV and the Box Tiger, which we will get into later in the video, one song, a logo, and I hope I should be able to get this done. I mean, I don't have a reason to, but who knows. And subscribe for more content about the minimal viable product. The next thing I'm going to talk about is renaming the game to Sierra Sandstorm. Uh, operation adds just too much to the game title. And it's really not representative of what's actually in the lore. And just Sierra Sandstorm sounds cooler. And then I will talk about vehicle turrets now. So I found some turret code on GitHub. I will link it in the description below so you can go check out the creator. It's a wonderful creator. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to him. I'll link in the description as well. And I have muzzle flashes. It's using the same exact muzzle flash system that my gun system uses. And I will link a video on how I did that in the description below. And I also do v vehicle vision checks the same way I do for AI. So it does a broad check first to see if a player or a friendly AI is in the vision area. And then if it is, then it sends a raycast. And if that raycast collides directly with the player or a friendly AI, then it will set in vision to true. And then I also separated weapons to a new vision layer. It's using two cameras. This makes it easier to just add new weapon, I mean, it doesn't really make it easier to add new weapons because I have to go in and set view layers, but it means there is no longer weapon clipping, which is amazing. And then I tried 3D modeling a crash test dummy, followed the Impenzia, Impenzia tutorial. It's a really good tutorial. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, I've had problems with beginner tutorials in the past. They've either just been hard to follow or they just drag on way too long and I lose interest. I've tried multiple file formats for importing in Godot. I still haven't found the right one yet. And uh, I would just like to point out that this is a temporary model. And I also started working on a new song. Uh, it's made in LMMS, Linux Multimedia Studio software or whatever. Uh, watch multiple tutorials on cinematic music. I still haven't really came up with something good but this will be a moment to listen to it. So, I assume you listen to it. Um, now we'll talk about making vehicles a little bit more futuristic. So, a few years ago, I think it was like two years ago actually, Activision got sued by the manufacturer of the Humvee, General Motors. And I don't feel like dealing with this, and I also really don't like the Mat-V. 
I'm just going to design my own vehicle based on the Pat V. It also better fits the lore because the game said in 2025, and it, it, I can get a lot more control and creative freedom if I design the vehicles myself. And fits lore and I can change heights and all that if I want to. And then some other news. I found a cool free and open source whiteboard software made in Godot. It's a one-time download. I don't actually think it's a one-time download at all. Um, anyways, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. You'll have to download it from GitHub, but that's fine. You don't have to file source code or anything. And the reason I switched to Linux is because it's faster. I get more control over my OS. I've changed desktop environments. I've settled on Top OS here using the GNOME desktop environment, modified GNOME, and the terminal allows for greater productivity. And and so why did I also switch to Godot? Well, Unity doesn't really scale that good for large projects. Godot, on the other hand, has an intuitive node system that allows you to easily scale your projects to whatever size you would like. Like even just Crank a smaller game is simple in Godot. A lot of people have actually said this. And I can personally agree. So that's pretty much everything for this devlog. A uh, source code to the project will be linked in the description below, along with all videos I mentioned, along with GitHub and all that. And so be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Helps our channel, helps get content like this recommended to others. Thanks for watching. Fun Uber out.